So starting from February 1, 2024, Google and Yahoo will start applying their new rules for email senders. So to keep your newsletters out of the spam folder, watch this video for simple step-by-step -step instructions. So this is the email sender guidelines from Google. And if we scroll down a little bit, here we can see the requirements for all senders. So that's this. And we have the requirements for the ones that are sending 5,000 or more messages a day. So let's begin with the requirements for all senders. So I'm going to open it. So just to have a nice little overview, I copied the text over here and I pasted it into this page over here. So we have a little checklist. So these are the requirements for all senders. So from my understanding, this is done by the email provider, so the PTR records. So we as customers of ConvertKit, we don't have to do anything with this, I believe. So I'm not entirely sure for this step. I think this is like more related to Google Workspace. So I'm not going into that in this video as well. So then we have this one, keep spam rates below 0.1%. So that's not really a setting you can turn on or off. That's something related to your newsletters, of course. So the content of your newsletters and how you keep your newsletter list healthy so that's not something we will discuss in this video so i'm gonna check that one as well so then we have this one so format messages according to the internet message format standard so this is something convertkit has to do themselves internally so we can't do anything about that either then the dmark is something we have to do and then the last one if you regularly forward your email the arc headers outgoing email so from my understanding the ARC settings is also something that is done internally by ConvertKit themselves, and we don't have to do anything about that either. So we're left with these two. So setting up the SPF and the KIM and the DMARC. And as you can see, it says OR, so not AND. So if we check the email sender guidelines, and if we go to the requirements for sending 5,000 or more, so here it says AND, so SPF and DKIM and with the requirements for all centers it says or but it doesn't hurt if you set up SPF and DKIM so that's what we'll do in this uh, little tutorial. So when you're logged into your ConvertKit dashboard you're going to click on the top right profile over here and I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to click on email. So the first thing you have to do if you haven't done that already make sure you have a custom email address like this so info at and then your domain name.com instead of having a gmail or another free email address so if you don't have a custom email address yet you can purchase one over at hover.com i'll leave a link down below in the description so if you want to add a new email address inside ConvertKit, you're just going to press this plus icon over here add from address and then you're going to enter your name and email address and once you add a new email address you'll receive a confirmation email and you need to click that link in the confirmation email and then it says status confirmed so it's pretty easy so let's continue with the next step which is the verifying sending domains so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this button over here set up a verified sending domain so i'm going to enter my domain name over here creatorag.com i'm going to click on the next button so now we see these three things over here and we have to add these records as they're called dns records we have to add them to our DNS records tab inside our domain hosting. So what you can do if you don't know where your domain is hosted, you can use this link over here. I'll leave a link down below in the description and you can fill in your website over here. So your domain name, so creatorrec.com. So if you don't know where it's hosted, this tool will show you where your domain is hosted. So here, if you click on show NS records and as you can see my domain, is hosted over at cloudflare.com. So if I want to change my DNS settings, I have to log into Cloudflare to do so. So I'm gonna log into Cloudflare. So when I'm logged in into Cloudflare, I see this website over here. I'm gonna click on it, creatorrec.com. And then the next thing is I'm gonna click on DNS. So if you have a different hosting for your domain, it might seem a little bit different. And if you click this link on the ConvertKit page, it will redirect you to this page over here. And they have, if you scroll down a little bit, they have this section over here where they link to specific web hosting pages where you can find instructions for adding DNS records inside your uh, domain hosting. So when you're in the DNS records tab, you're going to click on add a new record. I'm going to go back to the ConvertKit page and here you can see the first thing we have to add is the type C name. So if we go back to Cloudflare, here you'll see type. And then if I click on this icon over here and I scroll down a little bit here, I can see the C name type. So that's the correct one for that first line over here. So then we have name. I'm going to copy this as well. So I'm going to use this icon over here to copy this name. I'm going to go back to Cloudflare and I'm going to paste that into the name field over here. Then we have the target. I'm going to go back to Cloudflare. 
So here it's called value. Over at Cloudflare, it's called target. I'm gonna click on this icon over here to copy this over here. I'm gonna go back to Cloudflare and I'm gonna paste that into here. So I'm not sure about the proxy over here. So I think we have to do DNS only instead of proxy. I'm not sure though. So I'm gonna use DNS only to make sure it's working properly. So I'm gonna click on, before I'm gonna click on save, I'm gonna add a comment over here. ConvertKit, verify your sending domain info at creatorrec.com. So this is only for my own reference. So if I, in the future, check my DNS records and I see this DNS record, I know by reading this comment what this DNS record is. So there is a possibility that in your hosting, you cannot add comments. So it's not, it's no big deal. You, you don't have to do this. This is just for your own future reference so you know what this DNS record is. So I'm gonna click on save. And as you can see, now you can see this comment over here, right? So convert kids, verify your sending domain, and then the email address, which is the email address I use for this ConvertKit account. So I'm gonna go back to ConvertKit, and then we have the second line over here. So it's also type C name. So I'm gonna add a new record, type C name, and then I'm gonna copy this one here as well. I'm gonna enter that over here in the name field. Gonna go back to ConvertKit, gonna copy this field over here, click on this icon again, gonna go back to Cloudflare, and I'm gonna paste that into here, change the proxy status to DNS only, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna copy this comment over here and I'm gonna paste it into here as well. So the same comment. I'm gonna click on save. I'm gonna go back to ConvertKit, and then we have the last record, which is the DMARC setting. So this is a text type, as you can see. So I'm gonna go back to Cloudflare, gonna go add a new record. And then I'm gonna search for the text and I go back to ConvertKit. And I'm gonna copy this field over here. The name is the D mark. I'm gonna go back to ConvertKit and then copy this one, the field, the value. So here it's called content. I'm gonna paste that in here as well. Then I'm gonna copy the comment again and I'm gonna paste the comment. So the same comment here as well. I'm gonna click on save. So now we have added all these values. So once you've added these records, you can click validate to complete verification. So I'm gonna click on validate to see if it's already working. Validating now, this might take a while. Domain validation successful. So I'm gonna click on finish. So I just send a test email inside ConvertKit. So this is this email. So test DKIM, I call it as the subject line. I send it to one person which is just my test email address. So this is the email I received. So I'll show you the difference between a verified domain and a non-verified domain, so you better understand what you're actually doing. So this email you see right here, so on the left side, this is the email I just sent, which is the verifying domain. And here you can see there is no header. So the, so the screen you can see over here, so this one, this is from a different person. I received this email and this person is also using ConvertKit as you can see. So here you can see that he has not verified his domain like we did just now. So here it says via convertkit.com. So that part is not visible inside my email as you can see. So this part will be removed when you add the DKIM. So if we go back to the DNS settings, so this line over here removes this part over here. So then the next thing is if you click on this icon over here, you see more details and here you can see the mailed by content and signed by content. So the first thing is if you add that DKIM record, which is this record again. So if you add that record, this part, so signed by, will be changed to your own domain name. So if we see this example, the one that hasn't verified his domain, here you can see signed by convertkit.com. So it's the same line as you can see over here, right? So that will change into your own domain name if you add that DKM record. So the next thing we'll see is the mailed by content. So here you can see I also have my own domain name here as well. If we see this example, if you click on this icon over here, here it says mailed by and then also convertkit. So if we go back to the DNS records over here, here you can see that is this line over here. So the SPF records. So this content over here is the same as this content over here, you see? So that's this line. So if we go back to the checklist, we just uh, added the SPF and the DKIM, right? That's what I just showed you. So I'm gonna check this one. And then the last one is the DMARC. So we did add the DMARC record over here, but apparently I just used this record, DMARC record checker so it's this URL. I'll leave a link down below in the description to this URL as well. Um, so now it says valid, but a moment ago it says invalid. And the reason was because I had two DMARC records inside my DNS tab. So I already removed it. So in the past, I've used a different email service provider for this domain name. And I've added a DMARC record for that specific domain. So apparently you cannot have two DMARC records inside the same DNS records tab. So I removed the old one. 
and now it was valid over here as you can see and one other way to check it so i just resend a new campaign over here and if we click on this icon over here so on these three dots here it says show original so if we click on that and here you can see more information so here you can see the spf records here you can see the dkim so with domain creatorrack.com which is correct and here we can see the D mark, which says pass. Also, if we do control F and we search on D mark, here we can see the D mark says P is none. And that's exactly what Google's guidelines are. So if we go to Google's guidelines, if we check the requirements, if you send 5,000 or more messages, here you can see set up D mark email authentication for, for your sending domain. Your D mark enforcement policy can be set to none. So that's exactly what we did. So P is none. So now we've done that, we can also check off this one of the checklist. So that's all you have to do for ConvertKit if you want to follow the email sending guidelines of Google that are starting February 1, 2024.